Hey guys. So I'm going down the road and my low pressure tire sensor goes off. And lo and behold, I uh, checked my tires out and I've picked up a screw. So I'm gonna show you how to fix this. Um, you're gonna need a tire plug kit. I, I bought this at Harbor Freight. Comes with the plugs. Comes with a tool to push the plug in. And a tool to ream the hole once you tape, take the object out. So first, oh, it also comes with a little bit of rubber cement. So first we gotta get the screw out of the tire. I've tried to get a pair of pliers on it, but was unsuccessful. So luckily we can just unscrew it. I have the worst luck. I've picked up so many screws and tacks in my tires. So I just went and bought a plug kit. They're pretty cheap. You can hear it hissing there. So what you gotta do next is take this, it's like a reamer, and just push it in, and you're gonna have to just push it in and turn it. You're basically just, you know, getting it scuffed up. I'm gonna go ahead and let this thing drain, or you know, let the air out of the tire. All right, the tire is pretty much completely deflated now. You can't, you know, it'd probably be better to take the the wheel off the vehicle, but I'm just not, you know, I'm gonna do this with it on. You can do it with it on the vehicle. You just have to rotate, you know, the the tire to a position where you can get get to it but all right so i've stuck this you know in here and got it reamed out pretty good so now what we're going to do is take our tool now this tool had a little tab that stuck up and i took it off and kind of ground it you know, like a little a hook in there. But there's a tab that comes way up and it's hard to get the plugs out of, you know, once you get it inside the tire. This, the plug basically wraps around in that little slot there and it's easier to push it in there. But I took it off there. I've had several plug kits over the years and uh, I don't know, those are just always hard to get the plug out. So basically what you're gonna do is get it to about the center of the plug, stick it in that little notch. Now I'm gonna put some rubber cement on here, which makes it, you know, go in here easier. Just stick it on a tire like that and fold that over, try to, Get it pushed in there where it's not gonna catch. Stick this in here and just, you're just gonna have to push while you're twisting it to get it in there. Sometimes it doesn't go all the way and you'll just have to grab a chunk of it. There, it went in. And just, Make sure it's in there and then pull it out and uh, should be in there good enough. Now I'm going to pump the, uh, the tire up and cut off the excess, but after I pump the tire up to the, uh, you know, normal PSI, I'll spray some soap and water on there. 
And uh, let me turn the air compressor on here, get this tire pumped up, and I'll be right back. All right, I got the tire. It's at about 33 or so, that's good, 34. All right, so I got the tire pumped up to the PSI that I normally run these at. Now I'm gonna grab a um, soap and water bottle and check for leaks. Be right back. All right, got my soap and water solution here. Just gonna give it a little spray. Watch for bubbles. Don't see any bubbles, so I'm gonna grab this uh, little razor blade that I believe it came with the kit. Can't remember. Pretty sure it did. I'll leave a link in the description to the tire plug kit. And one thing to note before I go any further, if you have a a screw or anything in the sidewall here you you can't plug that the sidewalls you can't plug just in the main tread area you're able to plug so let me uh clip this off and we'll be done i usually leave just a little bit sticking out it won't hurt it let me give it another spray here I think that's good all right if you found this video helpful i would greatly appreciate it if you'd smash the thumbs up i put these videos up to help people uh, try to save them money and if you would like to subscribe that would be cool as well but um Y'all have a great day. Hope this helps some people out. And uh, stay tuned for the next video. Thank you for watching.